not only the beautiful blue quartzite and then the faceted quartz on top, but it's accented with iolite. And while we're here, oh, we can so appreciate the sterling silver work. Look at the way the silver comes up and the swirls of silver come up and become the prongs that hold the gemstone. Isn't that gorgeous? So much beautiful craftsmanship here. Then there's four additional castings of the brass that act as prongs too. So there's this crown effect mm. around this glorious gemstone. And there's your iolite gems set into the brass. So that accent of faceted blue iolite creates even more just just luster and 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 elegance to this one. I just Karen, it's one of my favorite collections. It is drop dead gorgeous. It is thank so you. detailed. It is so no thank you because <laughs> you designed it and had it made for us. It is so detailed. It's so rich. I mean it really is breathtaking. Do you have one in your yeah, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me take that from you because I don't know where mine went. Oh, yeah, you're going to put it on and the chain. And I'm putting it on... Um, oh, I took yours, I guess. Did you? <laughs> yeah, because I have another one. You. Shame <laughs> on you. I you know this I love on. this. I love this. So we're seeing it on a leather cord. That's Oops. fantastic. We had it on Sincerely Fabulous because it has the enhancer bail. You can just click over, um, over or through anything. Um, be great on a gold chain. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Now that would be elegant. You know, this. I'm glad you bring up gold because for uh, uh, for the women out there who are all about, you know, their gold jewelry, mm -hmm. gotta have their gold, gotta have their gold. I love when you put your brass into your pieces um, because gold girls, you can appreciate oh, yeah. this. This is your look right here. That's so right. you're not missing out or anything like that. Right, and we do protect the brass so it's not gonna turn on you and in terms of caring for our jewelry, just use uh, a polishing cloth. Never dip it in any of those chemical cleansers because as you can see, we've used um, oxidation to bring out the detail in the sterling silver and you don't want to remove that. This has an heirloom quality, doesn't it? Oh, I, it looks like a piece right out of a treasure yes, treasure chest. Right. I mean, honestly, uh, I loved as a little girl playing in my grandmother's mm. jewelry box. Now she had a lot of costume jewelry, but she had a lot of it. And it would always <laughs> be these big opulent pieces right. that I would gravitate towards and put them on. And I would truly feel like the princess that mm -hmm. every little girl wants to That's be. That's right. This is exactly. Isn't that um, great? That feeling as I straighten that out. That looks great, I think Stacey. it's stunning. So oh my gosh, pretty. could you imagine if you, if you had um, an anniversary party, if you have a class reunion, if you're going to a wedding, if you're going to the opera for the first time mm -hmm. or to see a show on Broadway, could you imagine wearing this with the, like, your favorite dress, your most fabulous That's dress? That's right. How wonderful you would feel how queen-like, like you hit the lottery or like you grew up with the royals. That's I mean, right. you feel like a million bucks yes. in something like this. And you know, this is gonna be great in fall, in the fall, with your fall fashion, you know, with mm. the, with your purples, with your stronger colors, with red, you know, red's gonna be big. Um, but then with your neutrals, as we see it on Suzanne with gray, it's gonna just light up your wardrobe. Ah, oh, the ring too. It's, it's, it's funny, I've been going nuts over the enhancer. I've been wearing the ring whole time. So am I, isn't it comfortable? It's comfortable. You yes. forget that it's on your finger, mm -hmm. but it's such a bold piece. The ring is about uh, almost an inch long. It's almost going knuckle to knuckle. Uh -huh. So you're getting a lot of size and it's making a huge statement, but it's so comfortable. It's a tapered shank on the back and I'll show you that la later, but it's more pretty to look at it on Suzanne's finger. The only thing with the ring that though, is I don't have a lot to go around sizes six and nine, six through nine only. So, I mean, that's great because six yeah. is your average size, mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine. Um, if you're on the smaller side or the larger side, I don't have that for but, you. But you know, with these rings, you can wear them on any finger. Any finger, right? that's the thing. That's your so index, beautiful. I have it on my middle finger mm -hmm. like Suzanne does. That's what I have. And, um, and I love just how dreamy blue this hue is. It's just so intoxicating, really, is what it is. And here it is on my hand. We talk about, or I always talk about, my little short stubby fingers and how beautiful the bigger pieces, um, when they're well done, like this one is, tends to make my fingers look less short and they stubby. They great. And you know, even though it's a big, bold ring, and here is there's that. so much detail and elegance to it that it doesn't 
overpower your hand, Not right? At all. And then that luscious color of the gemstone. And is... and look at what you're seeing underneath the ring. So there's your highly polished tapered shank. That's why it's so comfortable. But look at how when you look at the back side of the ring underneath, you're seeing still that beautiful scroll work and that brass. So it looks good even if you had to take it off and set it on your desk or mm -hmm. your counter. It's going to look stunning anyway. And it fits like a cigar band ring, which I love. It really hugs the finger. It does. So it, some big bulls.